Excuse me. Hope everybody's having a good Memorial Day. I'm going to kick it off with some football. All right, we're going to go over some of our recruits here. All right, so Mr. Burns, number one overall punter. We're in the lead. What's up, Dale? Welcome. Todd Harvey, number two overall athlete. Uh, Five-star guy. We got him. Anthony Reed. We're in second place. Would be nice to get the number two and number one overall athlete. I think that'd be sick. Seth Jackson, we're in the lead for number one tackle in the nation. Got Freddie Leonard, 6'6", 264 athlete. Got the number two guard. Still battling for the number one tackle, Joe Davis. Uh, Bobby Lowe, Tony Dykes, four-star athlete. Patrick Thomas, another guy we picked up. You sick? Hope you get better. All right, Nick McCoy. All these guys we kind of added late. Uh, Brandon Walker, number four overall athlete. Okay. Well, let's take 100 off of James Brooks. We still got a pretty good lead. Josh Bishop, we'll still leave 75 on him. Let's see... We'll just give him a little boost. I'd like to get all those five-star athletes. That's nice. Playing BYU this week. All right, so we're third in the nation as far as recruiting is concerned. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead, take a look at some stats. We still got a chance, so like if Florida State stays up there and we just keep winning, we'll see them in the ACC Championship, I believe. Or I think we're in the same division. Yep. <clears throat> so we definitely have to beat them. 100%. And they need to stay undefeated. All right. Stats. Let's take a look at the stats. Let's see. What is Davis throwing? Jeff Davis. He's thrown 12 touchdowns, 4 picks. It's not bad. What's he run for? 122, 4 touchdowns, so one more than last year. <clears throat> 99 overall, not bad. Todd Hawkins, 310 on the ground, 3 touchdowns. Jeff Davis, Danny James. He's got one-on-one -on -one with six touchdowns on the board. He's a junior. Tony Goss, 57 yards. Malik Anderson, 42. And then 17 for Pat Battle. Receiving Marcus Tyson, of course. He's got 39 catches on the year, 600 yards, four touchdowns. Followed by Sean Glover and John Powers. Let's see, Rowan Thompson. He's sitting in there. He's looking pretty. I mean, if we're getting all these good wide receivers next year, I may have to switch Rowan back to quarterback. Let's go ahead and get into this game. I'm all for it today, so it's nice. Okay. Not a bad outfit. I went to the Coca-Cola 600 last night. Martin Truex Jr. won that race. It was nice. Kurt Busch was in the lead for a while. So I didn't want Kurt Busch to win. I don't think anybody else did either. Offense, third, third, second. Rushing's kind of low. Defense is doing a little bit better. Davis, Tyson, Alex Jackson. Uh, 
Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Let's see if we can bounce back after that loss. We were get we got creamed last time. Tyson fields it at the three. Turnovers really hurt us. What's up, V Guard? Welcome. And as he goes, the team seems to go. Brett, over the weeks I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistake. So I'm moving out this Friday, guys. I'm going to try to sh stream a little bit more, but I'm not sure. There we go. There's John Powers with five. Happy Memorial Day to you as well. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 31. I always forget BYU's got like great linebackers. There we go, Danny James. James, a kind of kid that just continues to impress us, Herbie. I mean, he's taking his game to the next level, and his stats are making everyone in the country take notice. It's Mr. Todd Hawkins. Bringing that safety down. Nice run there. Hawkins picks up five with the carry. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 43 yard line. There you go, Jeff. Drag him. Let's go. Herbie, we had a chance to see this kid a year ago, and he was sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. Zips it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48 yard line. Make smart decisions. Gotta avoid. Rid of that ball fast. From the 48 yard line, it's second down. Packers at the 34. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. It to the 32 yard line. Felt like it was a lot longer than two yards rushing. It's second and eight. Ball on the 32. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Just got to control the ball. Get back into our groove, you know. It's the ninth play of the drive. They come out in a five-wide set. I can't believe Sean Glover caught that. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Undefeated. Is that not a face mask?
Here's the 11th play of the drive. Noodles. What it do? Better than I thought he would. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receiver. It's a good first possession. Get on the board. Six minutes worth of hold time. That's what we need. So an 11 play, 74 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, seven nothing. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. All right, so they're going to go to their tight end. I see you, boys. From their own Memorial Day barbecue. Are you doing that now, Noodles? Because we're doing a cookout tonight, like six. Bogle, I need you on that tackle, homie. That was a weird tackle. <laughs> Good job, Mike Slaughter. Solid five yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. First and ten. Ball on their own 49. He steps out at about the 49. BYU always produces like these weird hybrid quarterbacks that are very dangerous. Ethan's at work right now, but we're moving in together, so you'll hear Ethan a lot more. We're moving in on Friday. Mmm, got burned. There's that tight end again. Good touch, too. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. What is this? And he is drilled at the 11. Like, I don't have a bad defensive line, but I might as well. Because we're getting creamed. After this game, I'm going to show you guys my uh, my sliders. I want to see if any of you can actually play on my sliders. So at the end of one quarter, the Orange lead 7 0. All right. Uh... Back to the action now here in the second quarter. They get nice yardage on that run. That makes it first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Gotta be careful of a pass play with this defense. There we go. Play that run right. Worked out. Big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This Good job, Dominic Hawkins. He's a reserve defensive tackle. They're at 
the two. It's second down. Oh. Touchdown, Cougars. Ran the option. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10 play, 76 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. We're even at seven in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Taken from the three yard line. Tackle made at the 25 yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make it. Strain tricep out for game. Okay. Feel more confident going into halftime. The Cougars running game really took a big hit. Their D back went out earlier with the injury. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Oh, dude, that's not interference. What the crap? Brought down around the 15 yard line. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good. Just bumped. It's. Whatever. Just bumped him out of the way. He was open on the route, too. Gains his way to the seven yard line. There you go, Josh Brink. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. The crowd really making it difficult. Of course, a draw play, dude. Get no push up the middle. Been needing a new defensive coordinator for years. There you go, Mike Slaughter. Good stop, son. Forced him into a third and goal. You're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Good pop. That's Culver. that takes the field on fourth down. Touchdown, BYU! Brigham Young, up six. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 15-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field. And a lot of the yards came on the ground. Tyson from the three. Tries to get around the corner. And they push him out right around the 32-yard line. Syracuse gotten the play out of their quarterback. And you expect that that was going to happen. But... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this through the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. 
Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play action pass. It's a good run by Todd Hawkins. First down. Gets to about the four. There we go. Get Malik Anderson in there. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He's going to try and scramble. And he shoved out of bounds at the 49. Protection breaks down really fast if I'm going under center. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 49. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There you go, Glover. That's two clutch catches on third for my man. Dude, that was just a sick move by Todd Jones. What a pass, too. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Right in that window. Well, that had to be a well done. Of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open. There not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Smith looks ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. <clears throat> always want to go in the locker room with momentum so as we get closer to halftime I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays and a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds come on David Henry I put you there because of coverage that's why he first down 10 yards to go ball on the 37 yard line He fires left side. And got him. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Brigham Young. Ugh, man. These sliders are near impossible. But need a challenge. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. Keep in mind, we're still in the second quarter. And this kid is putting up these numbers. And he converts the extra point. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. 
the offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback. And there you go, Rowan Thompson. Big catch for the converted quarterback. About the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. I just don't want to give these boys the ball back. There we go. That drive was all row in there. Good protection. That's the protection I need to see. This passing attack is making a highlight film right now. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And they make the stop. That's a good play by Fogel. yard line. It's second down. Quick throw. There we go. Half time. Four yard line. We play for football. <laughs> Committed a turnover, but we struck back, so I'm okay with it. Hey, gaming. What's up, my dude? We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. We've got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half.
Had to switch out laundry. I'm back. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams... I'm bring my safeties down here. Close well into the second half. In this one. Keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice and execute when it's time. And now he's got room to run. That's a great tackle at the 47. Brought my safeties down and all of them got picked up and or pancaked. It's just, it's... First and ten. <sighs> this defense frustrates me. That's a good tackle by Noble. Well, we can't stop this offense. I can tell you that. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Don't give him a yard, man. What the crap? Once again, it's going to be up to my offense, man. Touchdown. Like, just pancakes. The whole line got pancaked. I don't think we're winning this one either, man. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Checking in on some ACC action, we've been watching this thing all day long. And for Louisville, they've grabbed this game by the throat. Weeks get set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. And he makes it out to about the That's probably one of the worst juke moves I've ever seen. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's a handoff, left side. He fights forward to about the 20. Hawkins gets three yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 20 yard line, it's second down. Try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense. Just pushed him straight back. Get into the backfield of the offense. All right. And then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Quick to his receiver. Brought down at the 31 yard line. There you go, Roman. Receiver. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. First and ten. Ball on their own 31. Quick throw out to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. There you go. Had to hit Marcus Tyson, man. Had to. Taken down at 
at the 41. three yards to get the first here on second down. Here's a screen pass. Dude, come on. Around the 41 yard line. <laughs> Defensive tackle catching up to a running back. Come on. He gets sacked on the play. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman when the film study starts to come around. Oh, that's just terrible blocking by Hicks. We got to punt it. This game's not looking good. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. A little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Syracuse coaches just got to be happy. I love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. The quarterback did a really good job in the last Our round. offense isn't playing bad. But our defense is playing much, much worse. Seven points. Finally, Henry. From their own 21-yard line. Second down. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. It's a good tackle by Noble. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Good play, Henry. No, that was Fogel. Sorry. Way to hit that gap. Jones is back awaiting the punt. Not bad field position. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here we go. Green nine. He gets to about the 41 yard line. That's a game of nine on the clock. That brings up second and one. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Great pressure on the quarterback force. Had him beat on the blitz, dude. Still couldn't get rid of it. Hey, James. What's going on, man? Just enjoying this day. Five wide receivers. Got a man. Watch out here. Spectacular play. And now it's first and goal. So at the end of the third quarter, the Cougars in front, 28-21. All right, we're just about set to start action here again. In the What's up, Rapper? Welcome to the stream, boy. Empty backfield. Drop likes. Of course, keep leaving comments. You guys know how it is. Under heavy pressure. And he Had to get rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the eight-yard line. Second down. They 
yardage on that run. Of course, Glover is going to drop it. You're working on your team, too? I hear you, bud. This is it. They need three yards for the touchdown here on fourth down. That was a clutch fourth down conversion. Woo! The quarterback just made that one look pretty soon. Great blocking by everybody. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Ooh, Tennessee beat South Carolina. Wow. Can they stay in the pole? It is all over. And once again, we find out there are no foregone conclusions in college football. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Oh, who got that? That was just broken blocking. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Wow, that was fast, Chris Johnson. Well done, sir. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 23. Mm. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's a gain of four. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, this is a very well good D. They know to get noble with the deflection. That freshman corner, the five star we recruited last year. That is Mike Slaughter, number 44. That's our free safety. Oh, I should have just kept going. <laughs> 44 for the running backs? No, not necessarily. I mean, it's college. You know? College is different. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Bring him down at the nine. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the nine. Gets to about the eight yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Bro, Rowan Thompson. He's pulling us ahead. This kid is clutch for us. It's four touchdowns for Jeff Davis. Did have the one pick early, but <clears throat> we're fighting back, man. Touchdown. And he tacks on the 
extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Jim Brown, Ernie Davis, Floyd Little, War 44, and the pros. Wow, what an upset. I'm not sure anybody would have In the past 10 years, like, numbers have changed for college athletes. Like, uh, wide receivers I see are wearing number one along with running backs. Uh, Christian McCaffrey wore number five. I've seen wide receivers wear, like, number eight, number nine, that kind of thing. I've even seen defensive linemen wear number five. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He gets rid of this one. That's good coverage. Oh, yeah, man. Those recruiting tips are money. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Good tackle. We're right there for it. We're right there. There we go. Another four, fourth down is force. Not the pros. That Syracuse jersey number was worn by Syracuse running backs in college. Look it up. They have retired that jersey number. All right. Well, I mean, that was just his number when I recruited him. Jones, the return man. Good blocking, good blocking. Oh, <laughs> Todd Jones back-to-back. -back. Great returns on the punt. The setups. Number 44 with that clean. That was Mike Slaughter on that block. We just saw in a matter of 20 seconds how quickly a game can get blown wide open. The Appreciate it, Noodles. I can't remember the last time I had a punt return. Todd Jones, the senior. Way to go, kid. They line up to kick this one away. I thought we were going to lose this game. Pull ahead by two scores. Not bad. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Strike complete. He's down. It's second and five here. Ball on their own third. Defense is playing just a wee bit better. I got picked up on that block. The beginning of the Toledo rebuild. Boom. Let's get that. Offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Defense looking for another sack in the second down. Second and 18. Let's pump up the crowd just a bit. Oh, crapola. Tackle at the 44. What impresses me so much? Is the guy's vision. Yeah, this is my recruiting class, Noodles. So they're not doing too bad. I mean, we had a terrible game last game, obviously. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like they're gonna go for Don't even know why you would play. Why would you throw it out to the flat? Quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 38. That was a clutch play on fourth down. But they are still down a couple of scores, and it's going to take some work for this team to get back into this game. Somebody jumped early down there. All start offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting. Noodles are uh, our recruiting class this year is currently ranked third. We're in line for a couple more recruits. We'll see how that goes. Put Noble there. He goes out of bounds at about the 31. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Good pressure. Was that by Stovall? To force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just under two to go in the game. Tackle made at the 18. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. Check, check. They're taking too long. <clears throat> they may score, but they're taking too long. Come on, Brink. It's BY uniforms look like the Walmart Jets uniforms. Yep. True. Got five people in here. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to the stream. Thank you so much. I usually have onesies and twosies. You know, my loyal fans. I appreciate y'all. Ooh, let's go, Glover. Good lord. They got three timeouts, though. So, if that's the case, we definitely need to keep it on the dirt. Run it out. Still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Under a minute left in the game. And he's taken down at about the 33 yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. That punt return for a touchdown sealed the game. That was beautiful, mate. The Cougars use their second timeout. Happy Memorial Day to you as well, Noodles. Thank you, buddy. Today's not about me. It's about uh, the young men and women who couldn't come back. And we just throw that dot to Tyson. Let's go. Let's 
Syracuse staff just dancing on the sideline. They're starting. All right, they gave it to Jeff Davis. Okay, six total touchdowns, threw for five, ran for one. Good, and I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and did have to do a little comeback there. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something. To but Jeff Davis stepped it up. That's it for this Got it done. We're going to have a bit of a co quarterback controversy next year because we had, well, he's a freshman now, Donnie Mays, Rowan Thompson, even though he's a wide receiver right now, and he actually absolutely saved us this game. He's a really good quarterback, and he's got 87 speed, so we're going to have to figure that out. So let's go to our stats here, boys. Uh, 247, five touchdowns, one turnover. Rushing 62 on the ground for Todd Hawkins, 11 for Jeff Davis, Danny James, 28. Malik Anderson did get a carry for three yards. So 108 for Rowan Thompson, two touchdowns. Marcus Tyson, 64 and a touchdown. 22 for John Powers and a touchdown. The other one was Todd Jones and a touchdown. Blocking. Uh, gave up one sack. Defensive. Let's see. Solos were led by Jason Fogle, the freshman. Mike Slaughter, the sophomore. Strong safety. Sacks, two led by Chris Johnson, and one by Mike Mitchell. So, Chris Johnson, sophomore. And uh, he's making his case known. Let's go ahead and get out of here before the game freezes. Quarterback controversy, man. Like, I'll show you guys. First off, i got to show you um, my spread for my sliders. Then I got to show you my quarterback depth chart. Like, we turned Syracuse back into another quarterback school. So, I mean, they had some good quarterbacks come out of, out of there. So, let's see, ESPN. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out where I got to go. Oh, it's Dynasty setup. So, Dynasty house rules. Just going to show you guys. So it's Heisman, eight minutes. Uh, we left the penalties kind of the same. All right, so this is my user. So 35 for everything except for wide receiver and running back. So that's 45. Let's go to CPU. Look at that trash, 85. 35 for interceptions for both teams. But, uh, and 35 for kicking. So 35 for kicking for both, but 85 for everything else. These are hard sliders. Um, let's go to our depth chart. I'll pull that up for you. Okay, so Donnie Mays, freshman. John Walker, he's going to be leaving. Okay. But we've got another quarterback that we redshirted who was also a five-star. So Donnie Mays as a freshman, he's an 88 overall. I didn't create the kid. He's just like, what is going on? Speed's bad, though. And then, of course, we got Tony Goss, Malik Anderson, Todd Hawkins. Looking pretty good. We're going to have good running backs and quarterbacks next year. Rebuild Hawaii next. We stay in the same dynasty. I'm hungry. I don't know if any places are open. McDonald's is? Noodles, you think we should start Donnie Walker at quarterback next year? If that's the case, then what do we do with um, Roman Thompson? Do we leave him at wide receiver? I'm glad you're still here, gaming. It's been a while since I talked to you. Six people in the chat. Hey, leave them likes, boys, because the more likes that you leave for me, the more it exposes me. And the more potential, the higher potential that I have for people to send me money on PayPal. Because I need them funds. 
<laughs> yes. All right. So we got a. I believe he was listed as an athlete. So Tony Dykes did commit. We're in a battle with these. Uh, look, we got another quarterback here. Uh, right tackle, left tackle, and a punter. Okay. So we did sign a four-star guy. So we, so you agree, Noodles? Leave him at wide receiver. Okay. All right. We moved up to twelfth. Moved up two spots. Let's take a gander at our recruiting board. Coach XP, we're about to hit again. Let's reorganize by overall. All right. We're about to slay with Michael Burns. Is he going to visit? He's he's visiting week thirteen. So Todd Harvey, he committed. Anthony Reed. Hmm. So we got number two athlete. I'd love to get the number one athlete. So Seth Jackson committed. Well, almost committed. When's he coming? Dang. Still got Notre Dame ahead of us. Come on, son. Freddie Leonard. Matt Butler. Let's see, Joe Davis. Patrick Thomas. What are you, sir? What are you? Spin a move, juke a move. What's his route running? 75. That's another wide receiver, pretty much. Does he have any cover skills? No. Uh, he's just plain wide receiver. I'm trying to figure out who to dump the rest in. 76 for Nick McCoy. Ooh, he's got good play rack and coverage. Six feet, 209. Looks like a corner. Wonder what Brandon Walker. He's a five star athlete, number four in the nation. What is he? Play wreck man coverage. Tackle. Is he like a safety? They might have him at a safety. Might as well pop in another middle linebacker. Josh Bishop, bro, we could we could kill it. Get some offensive linemen in corners. If I get some commits, man, I should be solid. So Nathan Sanders, Randall Hall. Got a four-star tight end, at least. Our recruiting class is looking good. I mean, we're definitely going to have to battle for uh, the tackle. So we ended up getting a guard, at least. We got two tackles that we're battling for. Seth Jackson, we're 975 behind. Joe Davis, 525. So we got a better shot at Joe Davis. Hmm. We're looking pretty good for pretty much being in the middle of the season. Let's take a look at our class. Fourth. Okay, 10 total recruits. Not bad, not bad. We got a guard, a center. We do got a corner. Middle linebacker, athlete, tight end. Okay. It's not looking awful. Corner, a quarterback, or wide receiver. Okay. Gotcha. We should definitely go ahead and get into this next game. Let's see. Jersey, white pants, white socks. White. White. We're going white out against Pitt. Pitt beat us last year. You guys think McDonald's is a good call?
Ooh, we're at 341 subscribers. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That's all y'all. Those are my boys, my fam. Presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The Panthers have been their own worst enemy during this losing streak. Now, take nothing away. So coastal standings. Most of these problems. Ooh, it's pretty tight in the coastal. It could go to anybody. They've got to get themselves. Florida State, Clemson, Wake, Syracuse. Woo! And see if they can finally get a W. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. This game's taking place in... I'm surprised Clemson's not right. Capital of America. I know, dude. Rain again. We'd like to remind you, this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. I want that ball. Don't forget, add in during weeks 5 through 13, once that slipped through the crack. Good point. These two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Tyson from the five. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Syracuse staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the... There we go. Not a bad run by Todd Hawkins. I'm going to try to keep the ball on the ground today. Burn that clock. Ooh. Ooh. Second and two yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. James, the kind of kid that just continues to impress us, Herbie. I mean, he's taking his game to the next level, and his stats are making everyone in the country take notice. Put Tony Goss in. There you go, kid. We didn't give the ball to Tony last game. From their own 42 yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Marcus Tyson, you gotta have that ball, son. He's gotta do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. He's tackled at the 40 yard. Here we go, Sean Glover. Sure-handed Glover. And he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. Going right, intercepted. 
Not what I meant to do. To be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. Throwing a lot of picks lately. Twenty-four yard line. First down. Five wide. That is a fast running back. The 45. He got the ball and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. Come on, Mike Slaughter. Nathan Peterman reads, man, 100%. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From the 32 yard line, it's first down. He's at the 20. He makes his way out to about the 9. They're really pulling a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. Another face mask? Personal foul. Face mask. No, they're running backs that fast. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Got to remember Pitts. Pitts one of our rivals, so they're going to absolutely give us their best shot. Not sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Hawkins gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 25. Oh, come on, dude. I had him juked. I had it. Ah. I had that whole lane, man. Whole lane. Go, John Powers, our tight end. Getting that big gain. That makes it first and ten. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and ten. He makes it to the 28-yard line. James gains around three yards on the run. What I absolutely love about getting several good running backs is that you can use them. Just split time between them. Just confuses the defense between their running styles. Makes third down short. Just like that. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. What should I get to eat from McDonald's? Oh, 
Gets out to around the 15. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. There we go. Get some yards before the quarter ends. That'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. Pittsburgh's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Takes it up the middle for a nice, nice run, Jeff Davis. Nice run. situation here. It's third and one. Up the middle for a nice game. Third down has been the charm. There we go. Danny James, get in there, boy. The right play at the right time. They've been able to do it here. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Defense and their short yardage packing. Touchdown, Orange. There we go. Danny James hasn't been in the end zone in a minute. Gotta get him some tutties. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 79 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart up. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field. And a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Oh, why'd you stop Culver? You could have had the pick. From their own 45-yard line, first down. I don't know how that fool's breaking all those tackles. <laughs> Getting creamed on the run game. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. No, what? He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Oh my gosh, that was so blown up, missed tackles. And he adds the extra point. A four play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're gonna have some success. These guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice run by Malik. Well done, sir.
Malik Anderson getting us the first. Running defense is getting creamed, absolutely, sir. And down he goes at about the 31. Seventy-seven total rushing yards in the first half. I'll take it. I'll take it, boy. They need about three yards to get the first down. Four-four on third, so not bad. Got the coverage I want. And a quick throw. And they make the stop. Thirty-five. Thirty-five big ones. It's a good lead too. Tackle made at the So James, let's see, that end is getting blown off the ball, unable to get off block, need run blitz like edge sting or free fire. I agree. So it's second down and about two Thanks for that update, James. That way I can make a little bit of an adjustment. Are you talking about Josh Brink, number 77, or Stovall, the white guy? It's just bad blocking there. Screen was perfectly set up, just dudes missing their blocks. There we go, Todd Jones. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Syracuse. There we go, Jeff Davis. Clutch run. for this guy the extra point to tie this game up he splits the uprights with the extra point you'll check the number next series You're just watching okay 77 is josh brink and 69 is stovall josh brink was our like five-star defensive end that we got two seasons ago he kicks it off and he got all of that one and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Just amazing, Herbie. We've seen four straight possessions now in which the offenses have scored. I think we saw the effect. All right, so there's Stovall. That's Josh Brink. Offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. Really started to 77, Josh Brink. Yeah. He's been having issues getting off the ball. Don't know why. He shouldn't. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Coming to you, coming to you. He's looking for his man. Ah, that was a burn. Ball, that's mine. Dang it. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. All 
Alright, see Henry here out in the flat. Uh, put him buzz. Oh, that was a burn. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Pittsburgh will take their second time out of the half. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. Too easy. Saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. And he hits the PAT. So a five play, 76 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack. Because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. 55 seconds. We can get it done. Gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you had told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Syracuse will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the More speed. Use defense sub package linebackers as in. All right. He's taken down around the 45 yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he's got room here. The 10. Spectacular play. And now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal and a touchdown ties it, folks. Touchdown, Orange. There we go, Todd Hawkins. Get you a ball. Commentators are dumb. Down one touchdown and they trash talk the quarterback. It's just because I've thrown a pick and I haven't thrown a touchdown. That's why. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. Syracuse gonna have to Actually, you know what? I'm wanting to go for it. Don't know why. Rather than tie it up, it looks like they want to risk it and go for the lead. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. No. All right, won't do that again. He brings it all the way back, and that'll be two points. Oh, man. Oops. Rip. Nice kick, plenty of distance. So this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds at the 36. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Pittsburgh is up a field goal. Wants to go long and does. Missed him. 
Well, the great safeties are almost like a center fielder roaming back in the back, just reading the quarterback's eyes. Here, he does a really good job of seeing where the quarterback wants to go with the football, getting a very good jump on it, and simply not getting it away from the receiver. And they push him out at the 45. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He wants it all going long. And it's picked off. It's the safety. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 23-20. Pittsburgh, and we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Back to return. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, right now, nobody can hold out of the pigskin right here. Sometimes turnovers are contagious, and right now, we've got a contagious disease on our hands. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. There we go. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 21. Pittsburgh has a three-point lead. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. down 10 yards to go ball on their own 43 caught with room to work he's knocked out of bounds at the 50 yard line Oh, come on, dude. That, my guys are so dumb. Stewart looks ready to kick this one off. Tyson takes it at the eight, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. There we go. 21 yard gain. Okay. Running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Tackle around 
Bro, there's no way he adjusted that fast. Come on. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring it up to the 35-yard line. <laughs> Bro, dude, come on, come on. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is away, it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. There we go. Down by a touchdown. Syracuse. To kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute for points up. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Pittsburgh is up seven. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. I'm sending blitzes and they're still not getting in. What was that, son? Come on. The awareness is just absolute garbage. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Pittsburgh is up a score. Here comes the pressure. Quick throw. How was that missed? Point. A 
six play 74 yard drive and they get it in for seven Brad I thought that was a textbook drive I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass just an overall well executed touchdown drive Tyson from the eight brought down at the 25 yard line Gonna have to start bombing it. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 48. Bowers with the tackle at the 48 yard line. First down. at the 40 and they make the stop at the 36 yard line that's a gain of 12 on the play that makes it first and 10 man left, man left. we've got a first and 10 ball on the 36 yard line catches it and he's looking for more and he scores just deacon him wanted to incorporate this young player into their passing attack and he couldn't have picked a better time to get him the ball where was the coverage there there wasn't anybody near him at all and he hits the PAT so a four play 75 yard drive and they come away with seven points well Brad right now this offense is hot and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense Schmidt ready to kick Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Syracuse coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Alston up the gun. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Pittsburgh's lead is a touchdown. These kids cannot tackle, even if I'm sending a blitz. Pittsburgh up seven points. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 35. Come on. Come on. Come on. And they hit him in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He makes it to the 48-yard line. I don't know how this quarterback is just, like, destroying me.
hits him hard at the 49-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. There we go. Good stand, D. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Pittsburgh is up by a touchdown. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Syracuse are really used to having everything go their way on offense, and that hasn't been the case today. Hasn't been the case. You know, the offensive coordinator, I think, may have looked at this game as, as if it would be no problem just show up and be able to move the football, but I think he got a lesson on why it's important to take every single opponent seriously. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Not a bad run. At the 47-yard line. From their own 47 yard line. It's first down. He gets out to about the 48 yard line. We do need points, Dale. I'm trying to get us there. I had to turn on two clock because guys are getting tired a little bit too fast. And the way Pittsburgh's offense is going, we may not be able to stop them. Quick strike to the receiver. The 10. And they finally push him out at the five yard line. There we go. Had to deke him a little bit, but got it done. Great play by the halfback there to find his way into the end. Boop. Again, the offense goes with the option. The defender can only pick. All right, four and a half minutes. That's that's plenty of time in case they score. It gives me time to do something. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Smith is lined up to kick this one off. Sets a return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for Terrell, what a day it's been. Well, he's a dual-threat quarterback. And when you're facing a guy who can throw it and effectively can run the ball, as a defensive coordinator, it's your worst nightmare. And when you look at these two touchdown passes, he's making quick decisions, and he's getting the ball to his receiver to give him a chance to make the play. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. Fires quickly and he's got Come on, guys. Uh, this my defensive line I don't know I mean if I send a blitz I'm gonna get beat over top let's see makes it out to about the 46. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. It's the tailback. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. 
Ends up second and nine. catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Well, this is a really risky call by the defense. When you send both your corners and leave yourself vulnerable to some passes downfield if those guys don't get to the quarterback in time. From the 31-yard line, first down. Very good tackle in space. the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 19. Steve's just running around the pocket all day. Come on. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They come out in a five-wide set. He scrambled. I thought it was a fumble for a sec. Get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. Tied up here in the fourth. Well, defense is letting me down big time here. To go in the fourth quarter. Scrambling around. They bring him down. There we go. Finally got a sack. Tenth play of the drive. The halfback with a carry. They'll drop him for a loss. That is a loss of three yards. Good stand, D. From the twelve yard line. Third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle made at the top. Oh, you gotta be joking me, dude. Come on. Into a ten yard gain. That brings up fourth and goal. As expected, they'll call a timeout here and try to add a little pressure. All right, we held them to a field goal. Defense did their job, but barely. Stewart looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. Syracuse coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Jacobson makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. You got to love Rowan Thompson when he just gets you out of the worst possible situations. We have less than a minute to go. Caught out in the open. He's brought down in the open field. Stallings, the guy everyone has their eyes on right now, Kirk. And he comes with a lot of expectations. Time will only tell if he's the new hope or if he's all hype. Man left, man left. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Fights 
forwards about the 19. The halfback picks up a yard. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience. Ooh, ba ba ba. Sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. steam on that throw and he's hit immediately it's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving he was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming the spike will stop the clock second down 10 yards to go 10 yards to the end zone Five wide. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Syracuse will take their final timeout. Third down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs. Let's go. I can't believe it. Boy, they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? And he tacks on the extra point. It was an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. An amazing drive with this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sand. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. The Panthers taking their first time out of the half. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. He airs it out. Picked off by the senior. Let's go. At the 38. We did it, boys. That was a tough game there. Woo! came in thinking that this would be a pretty easy matchup but they had to sweat this one out it just goes to show you that anything can happen in football Syracuse might have been looking past it GG boys they should consider themselves very fortunate to get the W I wonder who will get player of the game that quarterback is nasty for Pitt going to do it for this presentation of NCAA football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler. So they gave it to Jeff Davis, I guess. Did get one upgrade. Okay, cool. It's got to play a stats. 21 to 23, two touchdowns a pick. Rushing 69 and two touchdowns for Hawkins. Receiving 49 for Glover, 118 for Tyson, 88 for Powers. Let's see, defensively, seven solos for David Henry, five for Sam Perry. Sacks, one by Jeremy Bray, one by Mike Mitchell. And then, of course, one pick by Brandon Culver, one by Sam Perry. Not bad. Let's get out of here before the game freezes. See if anybody commits. I would love for that to happen. Then I gotta go to McDonald's.
Need a defensive coordinator upgrade. Come on. Got those dubs. Those dubs were a little bit too close, boys. I'm hangry. I don't think we're going to break the top 10. All right, we lost a tackle. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much it, but you guys leave likes. Hey, we broke top 10. Leave likes, comments, subscribe. PayPal link is in the description if you want to donate and keep the content going. Appreciate all the guys that have tuned in today. You guys are the best of the rest. Hope you have a happy Memorial Day. Spend some time with your family. And I will see y'all later.